Compound Objects Loft. A loft tool is used to create 3D geometry from 2D shapes. We need to have a path and a shape spline. So I'm going to create some, some splines and I'm going to go up to create and I'm going to go to shape and I'm going to go to splines and I'm going to first let's create a circle and I'm going to place this in my top view. I'm going to put a circle here. There we go. And now I'm going to come over in my front view and I'm going to build an arc. Okay, so I'm going to just draw an arc over here. And there's my arc. Okay. And now I'm going to come down into my perspective view here and I'm going to toggle. And there's what it looks like. Now, to use the loft tool, I'm just going to pick on, let's say, the circle. And I'm going to go up and go to my Create tab. I'm going to go to my Geometry. And I'm going to go to Compound Objects. I'm going to choose Loft. In the Loft, my first method of doing this is, down in my Creation method, I'm going to say Get Path. And when I pick on Get Path, I pick the path here, which is my arc. And when I pick on it, it generates a 3D shape. In, in other words, it, per, it takes that circle and generates it around that path. Okay, So I lofted it along that path. And, uh, and that's what I end up with a lofted 3D shape. But I have a second option here. I'm going to undo. So now I could come and pick on my circle. I can go to my compound, create geometry, compound objects, go to loft. And in my creation method, I had a get shape. And I can go over here to get shape. And I can select on my, my arc. And that's a second option I can do. It's not the most common option, but it is an option. So that's the creation method of getting the shape um, is in my creation method rollout. So by most of the times what people generally do is they're taking some object and make sure the two objects are not in the same plane. Right? This is the most common mistake is people put both objects on the same plane.